In today's video, I'm doing my second ever Fat Bike Race. So the first one was just two weeks ago. I tried to film, but unfortunately it didn't quite work out. But I was able to film this one, and this one was much more interesting anyways. So let's get to it. So I'm at the starting line, and I'm trying to get my light to work, but it doesn't. I gave my backup light to a friend, and so I'm kind of completely screwed because this thing won't turn on, and some of the corners are completely pitch black and they're hard even with the light because it's really soft in there you can slide out you gotta slow down a bunch so without being able to see this is gonna be super interesting i try to turn on my light like the whole race i keep trying to fidget with it but it never turns on so i have to stick with somebody else who has a light or else i just kind of got to go super super slow through these corners and I do have two cameras on. I got one on my chest and I got one on my helmet pointing backwards to get some good angles for this race. And unfortunately, the one on top only works for like the first couple minutes, which is kind of not a big deal because that's when, you know, you're with the whole bunch. But other than that, it'll just be chest cam for today. Five, four, These corners are super slippy, so you have to slow down a ton and take just the right line. So I'm catching up to first. He got a little bit of a gap, but I ended up catching his wheel. And I'm able to just stick right behind him and just draft. So right here, there's this long stretch that makes its way back to the finish line. So I stick with first place for a while and I'm just gonna go ahead and skip to when things get more interesting. Do you have a working light? Do you have a working light? So we're finishing lap one, heading into lap two, and I'm just asking if anyone has a light that I can borrow. Does anybody have a working light? Yeah. So 
So at this point we got a good gap so we kind of take the pace down quite a bit. The leader and I just kind of bounce back and forth between who's in front. But I don't have a light so I just have to stick with them. And even if the pace is too fast or too slow, I just have to try and stick with them so I can see. Going into lap three, we are starting to pass a bunch of people. There's several categories out, so there's people passing each other. And at this point, I'm realizing there's enough people spread throughout the course, I can make an attack, break away from second, and that I would have enough light to be on my own. So right here, I start putting the hammer down. I'm trying to put some space between myself and second. I put some good space between us, but he actually catches me on this climb. He used a lot of energy to do so, so as soon as it flattens out, the gap opens back up. And now I'm trying to either catch someone or wait for someone so I can have light when I'm going around these blind turns. Yeah, but I ran in this dude and he was going super fast so I stuck with him for quite a bit but as I'm looking back to see how much of a gap I have I have no idea which light second place is so I don't know if I have five seconds or a whole minute so this is a little bit scary because I just have no clue where he is and I'm just hoping I have a decent sized gap Lap 5, I'm just going full throttle about the whole time. I definitely ran into less people this lap, so I had to take a lot of corners in the dark. Going into the finishing straight, I still have no clue if second is right behind me or if I have minutes on him. I'm going as hard as I can and just praying that he's not able to close a gap on me in the last minute of the race. I rode in the finishing straight and there was no lights behind me so I know I had won. Super stoked on this race and happy to walk away with a win here. This was my first race video this year but I'm going to be having tons more coming out. Just adventure and mountain biking in general. So subscribe and stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.